This March, Mayor Thomas Menino announced that he will not be seeking a sixth term in office. At 70 years old, Menino has served for two decades. Boston's longest running mayor said his health issues hinder him from keeping up with his duties. But Menino wasn't always the mayor. He was elected to city council in 1983, representing the 5th District. Ten years later, he became the president of the council. Later that same year, President Clinton appointed then-mayor Raymond Flynn to be the U.S. ambassador to the Vatican. The city charter makes the council president the acting mayor. So Menino took over until the November election when he officially gained the title. He was the first Italian-American mayor in a city known for its long list of legendary Irish politicians. Menino quickly became the mayor for the people. He focused mainly on neighborhood development, even appointing neighborhood coordinators to act as local ambassadors. Kathy Hansen is a longtime Boston resident, and she is impressed by all he has done. He's been a fantastic neighborhood mayor. I've moved away four years ago, but I come back every Halloween because this is such a great city. And I lived here for 23 years, most of them under Mayor Menino, and it only got better and better. Menino is the co-chair of Mayors Against Guns, a group which works to keep illegal guns off the streets. He leads the organization with New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Seven years ago, they began with 15 mayors, but eventually grew to 900. Two years ago, Menino made headlines by speaking out against Chick-fil-A restaurants opening in Boston after the company's owner openly opposed same-sex marriage. Along with gay rights, Menino was a strong supporter of environmental sustainability. I also believe that mayors had a responsibility to push the envelope to make sure we are reducing greenhouse gas emissions and preparing for climate change. He produced a climate action plan with the goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions by at least 25% by 2020. The program included a bike share program for eco-friendly transportation. Resident Dwayne Funstein is proud of Menino's accomplishments, but thinks it's time for him to call it quits. I just don't think physically he can continue doing it anymore, but I wish him all the, all the best moving forward. I think he's done a good job overall. Last year, Menino faced a series of illnesses which left him hospitalized for eight weeks. Nevertheless, Menino said he feels at peace with the condition in which he left Boston. Reporting for WEBN, I'm Jennifer Joy Sanchez.